in effect, and gone through 24 hours of hell in Watertown, Mass. Hey, Lester. Yeah, Brian, that, uh, you're seeing uh, uh, the ambulance just went by this crowd. They believe the ambulance carried the suspect. A big round of applause uh, from the crowd as, as it parted and, and the ambulance went by. Um, whether the suspect is truly in the ambulance is not clear, but we believe he might have been, and uh, it's uh, quite a reaction uh, from the crowd. Here. These folks are, uh, have, have had, as they've noted, just a, a really tough, tough night last night facing another tough night ahead and they have been standing here with us after being holed up in their homes all day standing here with us kind of listening to the best they can uh, the half part of the conversation they can and, and, and gleaming on uh, to what we were saying and then they heard that he was in custody and folks are, are obviously joyous with a very good reason I think we're all we're all happy there was no further uh, further bloodshed beyond the suspect here and that this uh, this is over <laughs> yeah, you're going to be on the happiest corner in uh, Commonwealth of Massachusetts there in a few minutes, especially when all the vehicles, first responders, <laughs> law enforcement start coming out. Lester Holt, thank you. Uh, 8.59.30 uh, in the East Coast. Listen to that. Uh, we'll give this a few seconds, and then coming up at 9 o'clock straight up, we'll uh, update everybody on what has transpired. in Watertown, Massachusetts, and elsewhere along the East Coast, 6 p.m. in Los Angeles. Uh, Johar Sanayev, uh, said to be 19-year-old uh, student at uh, UMass, uh, has been apprehended. Uh, he is suffering from blood loss, at least one bullet wound, not ascertained yet if it was suffered tonight or in last night's exchange of gunfire. Uh, after the all-clear was given, after a day-long lockdown, People of Watertown and the Boston metropolitan area were told by their public officials, who had good reason to do so, it was flooded with law enforcement, the region was, and it was um, uh, really, we were given indications, a matter of time, confidence was high, they were going to find this guy, as you see, Watertown Fire Department Engine 1 come out of there, um, and uh, 30 minutes after their announcement that people could come out again, after this day-long lockdown, the exchange of gunfire. We heard from our own folks on the ground, our camera crews, uh, people like Lester Holt, Kerry Sanders, that uh, gunfire had taken place. Uh, this will whip up the crowd, the fire engines hitting its siren on the way out. And this will begin the slow parade of fire and police uh, out of the scene. It apparently is that uh, the suspect was holed up under a tarp in a trailered boat in the backyard of a private house uh, two or three story frame house and that uh, all this time we have been waiting for this to resolve. SWAT teams were assembled um, and uh, he is being transported to the same hospital where an MTA cop is recovering from gunshots uh, sustained last night. As this slow parade of vehicles now exits, Kerry Sanders, what a wild, what, 20 hours, 18 hours it's been in that town. Uh, I gotta say, I, I'm, I'm lost. It's been like, uh, I guess I started working Thursday at 5 a.m. and have been working straight through, so it's kind of hard to keep clear everything that's been going on. But Wayne Matrano is one of the residents here. Uh, there's members of this uh, community that we hear are cheering, high fiving each other, big smiles. How do you feel right now knowing that this is over? that he's in custody and he's alive. Well, again, as you say, there's been a busy 18 hours, even longer given Patriots Day and what had happened then and leading up to this. Um, but now a sense of relief. I, I've heard it from my neighbors, my friends. It's a very tight-knit community here in Watertown. At least I can speak of Watertown, if not for the entire New England area. And there is a sense of relief. And people, I, I've seen them applaud the police and applaud the governor when he was making his speech out a little earlier with Mayor Menino and it's a sense of pride knowing we've worked together to solve it, or at least bring it to this level. I'm curious, there was a blanket of fear over this community, maybe even over all of New England, if not the nation, that somehow somebody would set bombs at a 
a sporting event and kill children and maim uh, other children and adults.